Welcome to A Brave Service, which is my YouTube channel, Patreon account, um, Facebook group that deals with the 3rd Battalion, 12th Infantry Regiment in Vietnam. A um, little bit of background. Um, basically, the 3rd of the 12th uh, is an infantry battalion that served in the 4th Infantry Division um, for quite a while, but the years that I'm focused on is 1960. 6 to 1970, which is the years that the battalion was in Vietnam. My wife's uncle served in that battalion. He was a medic, um, and unfortunately he was killed in action in May of 1968, and so that's my connection to the unit, and I just uh, have really kind of dove into creating uh, map projects and spreading information and finding men that served in that unit, and so tonight I thought I'd make a video um, because I got a question and I thought it was a really great example of some of the stuff that I've done and kind of the process in which I do it. Um, so I'll start out with the question. Um, and this is the question that came out of my um, Facebook group. And it basically, a man named Robert Willis who served in Charlie Company um, uh, in 1967 and 68, he we were talking about Christmas, and they all have memories of where they were on Christmas. And so Robert said uh, that he believes a spotter plane, that would be like a 01 bird dog, or a, I think L19 is the other designator, uh, maybe an O2, but I believe this is probably an 01, uh, like a Cessna. Uh, I believe a spotter plane dropped us a styrofoam container full of rum to add into the eggnog. Uh, we would have dropped in on Christmas Day. The parachute got caught in a tree and we made short work of getting it cut down. I'm sure they did. I remember the AP, that's an ambush patrol, and that we lost guys Christmas Eve, but had no idea where we were. Where on this map was Charlie Company? So he's asking about a um, specific map. And so I'll show you that map. Um, let me just open up... Um, our Facebook group real quick and I'll show you that map okay so this is the map I created and I posted a couple of days ago, um, actually yesterday, I guess. Uh, and Christmas Eve, the battalion was down here um, in this fire base that didn't have a name that I can find. Um, but it was up top of this, this hill complex. And this is Google Earth imagery, which is modern day. So it doesn't quite, I mean, matches up terrain wise, except that some things have been changed. The vegetation is very different than it was in 1967. Um, but you got Docto up here. Um, anyway, that's the about the distance. So he's asking where was Charlie Company because when I posted this, I knew that Bravo Company was on perimeter security here at the firebase, and the other companies, Alpha, Charlie, and Delta, and the Recon Platoon were out uh, in this area here on uh, company size patrols. So um, that is the question. So how do I figure that out? Uh, the, the way I figure that out is through the daily journals, which I recovered from the um, National Archives in College Park, Maryland. I, I've made five trips there, I think, and I've got more scheduled for this year. Um, and they have the vast majority of the daily journals that were... Um, taken every day by the battalion staff, usually the operations staff, um, wrote these journals with all the highlights of the day. There's grid coordinates in them. Uh, there's contact reports. There's weather reports occasionally. There's remarks about supporting units or VIPs. There's kind of a, a whole lot in there, but some of them are, some of them have a, le a lot less than others. So this is where I would go. And so and this daily journal that I'm looking for was in 1967 in December. And he's wondering about Christmas Eve. So we have December 24th, 1967. 
I'll open this up. And this is where we start. I don't know if it opened. There it goes. All right. Let's get it over here on the screen I'm sharing. Okay. So this is a this is this is a daily staff journal or duty officer's log. It's the same form that I used, basically the same form that I used when I was on staff duty in the late 90s, early 2000s. Uh, it hasn't changed much. Um, so we're going to just kind of scroll down. You can see that it starts at 0001, which is the first minute of the new day, uh, and ends at 2400. And it can take as little as one page, as many as 16, 17. I've seen 20 pages long, all well, depending on the, the process at the time. Some uh, operations officers took more notes than others. Uh, depending on what was going on. So, uh, so this is it. Um, first thing that we see here is we can tell that it's headquarters, 3rd of the 12th, that's important. Make sure we're working with the right unit that Robert wants to know about. Here's a location. First location is a grid coordinate. So I'm gonna open up a map for you guys and show you uh, where, where I would start. Again, this is my first grid. Now I know where this is, but the first time I ever saw this, uh, I didn't, and I had to look it up. So let's just go ahead and find where this map sheet is. And I'll tell you, I know, I know where, I know which map sheet this is on. You wouldn't necessarily know that because there's not enough information. But I knew from other information where they were. So in the very beginning, if you're doing this for your own unit or or for someone else, you're you're going to have to find out more. You're going to need the two two digit or two letter designator. Uh, and possibly even more to figure out what map sheet to start. So I know that this map sheet is Docmot Lop. So we're going to open that up. Just so happens I have all those downloaded as well. Oops, wrong one. Oh no, that was it. Okay, so here's my map sheets. So each map sheet had a, a number and then a name. And so Doc Motlop, I know, is 6538-3 Doc Motlop. So let's open it up. And probably is going to open right here on the same page in a minute. OK, so no, we don't really want that, although it could help us we're not going to use this uh, add-on for that show us the GPS coordinates, just because it, it's not as helpful as it sounds at this point. So, um, all right. So this is a map sheet. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So, well, actually, before I zoom in, I'll just show you the whole map sheet. So every map sheet, you make sure you're checking out the one to fifty thousand meter. Uh, map sheet that's those are the ones with the grids that you find in the daily journals for an infantry unit they're going to be the one to fifty thousand um doc Motlop, that's the map name every and it's usually named after the largest city village town whatever uh so that's where this one's called doc Motlop. Um, and this, just for reference, this road here, which um, I can't remember the name. We'll zoom in. I think it's 512, maybe. Yeah, so road 512. We'll come back out. I know this might be a little jumpy for you, but I'll be all right. Okay. So 512 was this main road. It ran from Ben Het Special Forces Camp East to Docto. So what else about this map sheet? Uh, the name, the grids. Um, you can see there's horizontal lines, there's vertical lines. That's how we figure out what our grid is. Then there's a bunch of key information down below. So let's kind of focus in on that key information real quick. get down into it okay so 
kind of small, but I'll read it. I, I don't, you don't really need to read it unless you want to. I'll, I'll uh, try and get this a copy of this into whatever I create. I'll, I'll make sure I attach a PDF copy of this map sheet so you can open it up on your own. But um, the, the key that we really want to look at, which you can't see because my little share screen is in the way, so oops. Let's move me up to the top. And you can see down here you've got YB. Maybe we'll zoom in just a little bit more so you can see that. Zoom in one more time. There we go. We're having a little bit of trouble with my... There we go. All right. So YB is the uh, grid zone designation. And then 48 Papa, which is important for looking this up in Google Earth. Uh, you're going to you're gonna want to convert this grid coordinate to a GPS. Uh, and in order to do that, you need all of this information. So you need the 48 Papa, you need the YB. So those two pieces of information is what is not seen here. The 822081. 48 Papa, YB, Yankee Bravo. Um, and that tells you where to look in the world. 48 Papa, um, and then Yankee Bravo, and then this grid coordinate, 822081. So that puts us in the kind of frame of reference. Again, this is how I would do it. I would start, start with the battalion. Where is the battalion sitting at right now? And so let's go back to our map sheet. And we're going to just scroll up a little bit. And over and the way you read one of these is um, now remember that uh, that grid coordinate is 822081 so you start by going left or right so you find your 82 line so you got 808182 right here uh, and then you got to find your 0, 8 line. So start with the first two digits. Break, break that six-digit number into a, two sets of three. Your first three, um, and if, if it's an 8, then it's going to be your first four or your last four. So your first three digits, that's your easting. How far east are you going? You're going to 8, 2. And then your 0, 8, 1, that's your northing. So how far north are you going to go? So you're at 8, 2. And 08, so we know that this grid coordinate right here, or this grid square, sorry, right here is the grid square where that fire base is. So what we do is each one of these grid squares is broken into 10, a 10 by 10 grid. So if you go 822, two, you would basically 825 would put you in the middle. So you want to go over about two spots, and then 081, you're going to go all the way up to 08, and then 1, and right here is where the battalion uh, battalion firebase was located, 822081. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this into like a PowerPoint so I can actually edit it and add in some information. Um, but but that wasn't the question. The question was, where was Charlie Company? So let's figure that out. Um, all right, let's maybe do that, because this is, this is how I would do it. Actually, I already got one started, so let's just open that up. Um, I think I put it in... Right in here, through third of the 12th infantry daily slides. Let's get to December 67. I'll just open that up. This is just where I, it's not as organized as I like, but I'll open this up in PowerPoint. All right, let's get this. Let's 
get this over here. And there you can see that map that I created already. Um, but we're not looking at that. We want to know about the grids. So here's a map I, I started already, just real rough. But we're going to start a new one of these to really focus in on the Charlie Company information. So first thing, we, we know that that's the battalion. And I'll tell you, I already know where Charlie Company was. They're out here at 943. So we're going to... Um, because I want, I just want to do this one time, the snippet that we're going to take, I want to be able to focus it in pretty tight. Um, there we go. So what I do, okay, this is Robert's initial question. We're going to, we're going to actually snip a new chunk of this map. And if you're not familiar with the snippet tool, uh, it's a pretty awesome tool. Let's try that again. There we go. Okay, so this should cover should cover what we need. So we're going to copy that. We're going to put it into our blank PowerPoint. Okay, and we'll just forget about the, don't worry about the white edges on the on the back. But since we already have a circle, let's just go ahead and copy that circle. Put it in here so we can remember that 822, 822081, that's a battalion firebase. Okay. So anytime I'm doing this with a mat with a with a daily journal. I'll, I want to map every grid that I find. So we did the first grid. 822081. So the journal opens 0055, uh, so not even one in the morning, um, to 06 sit rep negative. And so what that really means is that every hour between basically 01 and 06, uh, each company calls back to the to the battalion and gives a sit, a sit rep a situation report and basically says nothing's going on everything's fine here uh, and instead of I've seen these where they every hour they put in sit rep negative so whoever was in charge of the writing this log at the time didn't do that they just uh, they just put all of those check ins in one line um, and so the first thing we have is at zero seven. 826 uh, AP closed. All right, so let's look at this. 826 is the designator for Bravo Company. Um, at this time, the 3rd of the 12th is operating under a new numbering system for the companies. Um, 81 was Alpha Company, and so basically you had Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta. 1, 2, 3, and 4. So 826 is Bravo Company. 6 in military lingo, lingo is traditionally the designator for the headquarters element or the company commander. And so 826, although that, that doesn't mean that the company commander was out on this AP, which stands for ambush patrol, it's just the whoever's taking the log, is it's their way of denoting that 826 had one ambush patrol out or all the ambush patrols the 826 or Bravo company had out. They have closed the firebase, closed where they originated from. We know that Bravo Company, well, I know that Bravo Company was at this firebase. So what this means is that 826 Ambush Patrol has closed this grid location. So they were somewhere out here, away from the perimeter on an Ambush Patrol, hopes of basically an early warning system uh, in case the uh, the enemy, uh, the NVA, which was who was active in this area at the time, tried to make an attempt at assaulting the uh, the uh, perimeter or the the firebase. So it, it it's in this case AP says ambush patrol. So it's more like a instead of just a passive listening post, which is an LP, which is another thing. This was actually more of a team sent out to maybe try and ambush an enemy patrol that was moving around. Um, 
you know, some of this area around the firebase. So, anyway, we know that they close, so A26. Now we have our first, um, first mention of 836, which is Charlie Company. Charlie Company is sending a patrol to 796106. So let's go look up that grid. 796106. And for Charlie Company, I use blue because there's this, and I don't know, they might, they probably didn't use it then. Maybe they still use it now. It, uh, where it, in colors, when you're talking about the companies, just like they use 81, 82, 83, 84, they would use red, white, and blue for Alpha, Bravo, Charlie. And so um, Charlie Company would be blue. And that's just, I've used that, uh, and that's kind of the, the color code that I use. So the grid we want is 796106. So we know this is 8. See, this, this line's a little darker than this other one. We know that this is the 800 line. Um, and so if this is the 800 line, then this is the 79 line. And I'll, I'll do this just because to help us... Um, to help us remember. We'll put in a text box since we can't see. And we're going to bold that. Not italics, just bold. And we're going to actually put a little bit of a background on it. You know, for now, we're just going to fill it in white. So that helps us to remember that this is the 8-0 line. Oops. Okay, so... Again, go back to our little blue dot, 796106. So if this is 800, this is 79. So 796 would be about here, and 106 would be about here. Again, approximate. Um, and so here's 943. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make another dot right on here, and it's a little bit smaller. So this, we know that this is Charlie Company proper, the entire company, probably about 100 guys. And then this is a patrol, or in this case, this is a location that they're going to go out to. Um, so this says, our, our log says, 83 is sending a patrol to 796.106. So that's at 0720. All right, so we've got those that mark. We know that Hill 943 is where Charlie Company was. Now we know that they're headed out to 796106. All right, 816 APs SP'd the ambush site. So 816 is Alpha Company. APs, ambush patrols, SP'd means they left. They started the patrol. There's probably a, a better... Def, maybe there's not. Started the patrol. Basically, they left. They, they started what they were doing. Um... So they SP'd the ambush site. And at 0735, 816 APs closed patrols SP location. So their ambush patrols have closed those patrols' location. So I'm not exactly sure. I can't make sense of that. They left the ambush site. And then they SP'd, they, the patrols SP'd their... But anyway, they're out there moving around. I think it means that they they went out to their ambush patrols, whereas instead of having ambush patrol out all night, they're sending out ambush patrols first thing in the morning. Okay, so now we have GR061 checked in as CC, and that's at 730. GR stands for Ghost Rider. 061 is a number designator... They just like Ghost Rider is a heli a Huey. Um, actually, now I won't say it, it's a Huey. It's an an A H C, an assault helicopter company, uh, and they checked in as the CC. That's the command and control bird, and so or helicopter. So every day a helicopter, or most days a helicopter would be designated to be the battalion commander's command and control bird. It 
often was a Huey. Sometimes it was a Loach, which is a a, um, a smaller aircraft, smaller helicopter. So that's what this is, and and I won't go into it, but we could actually look up Ghost Rider, what unit name they were, and all that. But we'll just know that they checked in at zero seven thirty. There's a helicopter that's checking in, saying, "Hey, I'm your command and control today." All right, eight one six ambush patrols at zero eight checked in. All right, we got three spots to to mark. Seven nine four zero eight seven. Um, so what we're going to do, just to make this a little easier, is I'm going to grab a hold of these. And I'm just going to move them over to my other screen so we don't have to flip around as much. We'll get back into PowerPoint. Okay, so we said the blue is Charlie Company, so Alpha Company would be red. I think I have a red. And I even I gave it a little gold bold, bold border on this one, but I'll take that away um, and make it black because the reason I did that was, oops, didn't take. Oh, I did the wrong one. We want the. Uh, outline to be black. Okay. The reason that we did that, or I did that gold, was because in the other map that I was creating, Recon had linked in with that company, and anytime the two companies work together, I used gold to, de to designate Recon, and so they, I gave the red circle of gold order to, to help me remember that they were together, those two units. So, first one is 794087. So seven nine four is about here. Oh eight seven is about here. That is kind of a nasty little spot. That's it. And I say that because I'll zoom in a little so you can really get a feel for these contour lines. Okay, so this nine four three nine three five. Um, eight seven four. Those are height in meters, um, and so what you can do is, if that's the height in meters, then you can. Each one of these lines is two hundred meters of elevation. I'm sorry, twenty <laughs> twenty meters of elevation, not two hundred. Uh, so this is nine hundred. This dark ring is is nine hundred meters of elevation. And so you can go down a little further and think of think of 935 being the top and you're working your way down. So 900, 880, 860, 840, 820, 800. So this dark line is 800. And then you go down to 780, 760, 740, 80, 60, 40, 20, 700. So in between seven and 800 meters, right in the middle, is where this ambush patrol sets up. Most likely because these are pretty tight. So this is pretty steep terrain. They probably could get visibility on this, this drainage here. Or maybe there's a trail coming up. See, there's this may be an easier path or here. So they probably have visibility on something uh, either a trail or this drainage to to make them think this is a good spot to set up. So let's that's the first ambush patrol. Let's set up the next one. 801089. 801-089. Right in the corner. And so I'll move this and put it back. You see there's a little hilltop right there. So that's 820, 840. So there's a little hill right there in the middle of this draw. You see there's steep terrain on either side, so this is a draw so that they're set up right there in that draw, but on a piece of high terrain. And then the next one is 80078. So 800 right on the line. Oh, and I, oh, maybe, maybe we zoom out. Yeah, we'll zoom out a little bit. 078. Okay, so once again, 
they are set up looking to the southeast. Probably some visibility on what's going on over here. Uh, again, here's the battalion fire base. So, so although it's not mentioned, check out these three ambush patrols and just using powers of deduction, analyze the map a little bit. If you, if these were your three ambush patrols, where do you think the company itself was located? And it's not noted in the log at all, but we're going to take a guess that it's here at 842. And we're going to make this just a little bit bigger to let us know. This is, you know, I don't want to make it bigger than the battalion. All right, maybe we'll make it bigger. But the company, Alpha Company proper, is set up on a Hill 842. And they've got an ambush patrol out to three sides. Basically, so that, and then this terrain is so steep, probably they're like, the odds of the NVA sneaking up this here is not real good. They might come up this finger, but they probably just have a, you know, the built up, you know, real good protection on the perimeter. So they don't need an ambush patrol out there. So they've got these three APs out. We're going to just stick with, that's where Alpha Company is. Okay. So that's that. Let's get back to our daily journal because our focus here was what was Charlie Company up to, which we did answer already, but this is a short log. Let's just go through the whole thing. It might take me a few more minutes, um, but I think they're really interesting. So ammo expenditure report sent. So every morning or once a day, they had the, the platoon leaders would have to tell the company commander, hey, this is how much ammo we expended during the night. You know, maybe there was a noise out on the perimeter. Somebody fired up some rounds. Um, and and that gets pulled back to the battalion. So these reports come in from all the companies. Then the battalion has to account for how much ammo that they've expended there at the fire base. And then they send that. This is saying that they have sent this report up to the brigade. So they've accounted for all the ammo that was spent by the battalion um, and then sent that report up to the brigade. Just a piece of information the brigade would track to, to track ammo expenditures across you know, then the brigades would report up to the division. Divisions would then report up to um, the uh, uh, MACV uh, command or, or the high high command. I, maybe it's first field force or second field force. I can't remember who was in charge of uh, two corps at the time. So maybe it's just two corps headquarters. Um, anyway, so just another report that got sent up. And I've never seen, actually, I have seen those in later years but in in this year in 67 none of those were those reports were included in the archived um, archived uh, documents so our next line let's just get here is at 8 18 836 night ambush patrol closed so Charlie company had an ambush patrol that was out all night and they've now returned to the perimeter that's what that's saying Okay, 0830, Cider 15 putting in airstrike. Hmm, interesting. Cider 15 is a Ford Air Patroller, a small reconnaissance plane. I'm, you know, it doesn't say where they're putting an airstrike in. I wonder if this is the airstrike the, that, was, that was getting put in was the airstrike of Rum uh, into Charlie Company's position. Maybe not. It could have been that they were putting in an airstrike. Um, there was, you know, there's something going on that isn't noted in this log. So, who knows? All right. So now we have our first mention of seven four. So seven four is the um, is the designator, just like eight one is Alpha Company. Seven four is the designator for the reconnaissance platoon. So the recon platoon. Um, was a group of men that specialized in small team reconnaissance missions, um, usually about six, unless the platoon was operating by itself, which we don't, we can't really tell from this how big of an element that they could have just been one. Typically, if it was a team, they would call them an Apache team. 7-4 um, usually means the entire platoon was operating um, in as a platoon force. So 
Uh, all right, so let's plot that. Let's scroll down just a little. Okay, 7, 4 at location. And I'm just going to grab this again. So I do not, actually, I'm going to grab all the way down to here so we don't have to come back to the log. Okay, good. Let's get this over here. Okay, uh, so let's get back to our PowerPoint. And I, I, there's probably better graphics tools to use, or, or I'm, I'm just not, like, that tech savvy when it comes to some of the stuff. So this is what I use. Uh, PowerPoint's what I know. Uh, and it helps me just to easily plot a few things and, and figure out the location. So, um, 803.104 is the grid. And so, we're going to just grab one of these red dots and copy it. And bring it up here. And then we're going to change the shape fill to yellow. Because remember I said recon or 74, I use yellow. So, 803.104. So 800, 03, 104, maybe here. So this is a pretty big deal. 74 at location 803, 104, fired upon five NVA, moving on a trail from east to west. So somewhere in here, there's a trail. So let's just go ahead and put in... And again, you can kind of you can kind of look at this and and see by the contour lines. It probably was, you know, it could have been in this draw. You can see bold, you know, dark line. So this is getting lower terrain right in here. Um, this is higher terrain. Maybe we'll zoom in just a little, so you can see. Um, but there's a trail, and, and I don't know, I'm going to, I'm actually thinking it's, I think it's up here, and I'll show you, I'll show you why. And so even though it says east-west, we're going to just tilt this a little bit. Now, I'm making assumptions here. There's no doubt, I'm, but um, let's just make this shape outline the weight of it bigger and we're going to make it um, black there okay so say that's the trail I don't know it could have been on the north side it could be right here in the middle I really have no idea but we're putting that there based on something else I see in the log uh, but before we get to that the next I'll just drag this over I guess that defeats the purpose of making the screen clipping uh, CIDR 12 at 1030. So CIDR 12 is another forward air controller. Uh, checks in for airstrikes. So the report that Recon has fired on some NVA, so they're in, they're in contact, that has spun up, and now we have more air support, you know, on call. CIDR 12 jumps in. Um, the next one is counter mortar in support of 7-4 started. So a counter mortar usually is our mortars firing at their mortar positions. Um, there was no mention of mortars being fired on 7-4, but, but maybe there was and it just wasn't noted. But those mortars would be most likely located in the battalion fire base. Sometimes they would slice off if there was like like in this case, we have, and I'll just move this aside. Um, you know, we have a company here on 842. We have a company on 943. And then we have the battalion here. There could have been mortar support somewhere. And maybe the mortar support, support was here at 943. That's a pretty close distance. I mean, even this is only about two and a half kilometers away. So it's well within range. Um, but either way, counter mortar in support of 74 starts at 1025. Then the next uh, log entry is actually really interesting. It says at 10.45.74, that's recon, yellow dot, estimates 10 NVA, North Vietnamese Army, on ridge, some with weapons, at 8.03.108. So let's look at where is 8.03.108. Oh, so I bet the trail 
was actually here, up here. Because now, now they've given a grid, so they were here. And that's where it said, uh, it says seven fours at this location, 803, 104, and they're firing. And now we know this, they're firing to the north. They are, because they see NVA on a ridge with weapons at 803, 108. So 803, 108. So that's this north-south ridge line. So this trail could have just been maybe maybe something like this. Coming down this trail, you know, coming down from this peak, headed across. So I drew this trail running west to east in a straight line, but there's no guarantee that was, you know, where it was or, or anything. But just for reference, that's where we're going to uh, to put it. So, again, the recon element uh, basically spotted and fired upon um, some MVA moving west to east on this on a, on a trail. And so I like to, anytime there's an engagement, put in a, a little graphic just to help me remember. So we're going to use this little explosion thingy. And we'll change the color to red and the outline to black. Kind of helps it to stand out. And we're going to put it right at that grid, which I think was um, 803, 108. Maybe we'll just verify that. I can't remember. Mm -hmm. 803, oh, 803, oh, that's where they were. 803, 104 was where they were. Um, but the trail we think was here, 803, 108. So, catching us back up, um, recon estimates 10 MVA on ridge, some with weapons at 803, 108. That's where, um, Recon was firing at from 803-104, so that's uh, 400 meters, give or take, from 104 to 108, uh, and we'll look at that on the map. But so, um, so then the next thing that, and, and we'll go back to the map in, in a second. But before we do that, I'll, let's look at this next entry in the log, and then I'll plot this one as well. 83652 element. So 52 is second platoon. Uh, element in contact at 796106. Element got one KIA MVA and one AK-47. MVA were moving south to north, SN south to north, along a trail. Found some clips with rounds, it says. And then 836 putting another AP at 793108. Okay, so let's first we'll go 796106 is where there was contact. So let's put that one in here. All right, so since we have contact, we're gonna just copy that. 796, no, 79, yeah, 79, I've forgotten already. Hold on, we'll go back here. 796106. 796106, which is this, which is the AP location. So we're gonna um, bring this guy to the front, and then slip this explosion in behind it. Oops. And maybe I'll make it just a little bigger so we can actually tell. That, that was what why it was there okay okay let's uh actually add in some text um because i think that'll help us to kind of differentiate between what all these dots mean c co cp and i need to shrink that quite a bit and i know i'm looking one way and talking the other way but we'll just deal with that for now um let's see okay that's the Seco CP, and then this is down here. Let's see if I can do it. Recon. And maybe just 
just like that, and then copy that. Okay, so what we had here is, oops, we had eight, three, six, five, two, so that's second platoon, one NVA KA. Let's just leave of that and get on to our log. Um, so getting back to our daily journal here, we've got 7-4 estimates, 10 MVA on ridge, some with weapons, 803-108. That's what we, we plotted that and the engagement icon. Uh, 836 with this is what we just put in there. They're moving south north along the trail. We should drop a trail in there. And again, this is how I do these because I need I want to remember some of these little little like what was going on. Um, so we're going to drop a trail in, but then also we're going to put this next one in there. Eight three six putting another ambush patrol in at seven nine three one zero eight. So this is super important because it leads to uh, kind of that bad day that Robert was talking about. Seven nine three one zero eight. So first thing we're going to do is drop a trail in north-south. And, you know, we don't know anything really, but we'll just drop it in there. Actually, before we do that, we're going to hit this guy, and we're going to bring him to the front, and then we'll just push this guy over. Perfect. And then... I have forgotten, but I think it's that right here. I think it was 793-108. So that's about 793-108. And it was another engagement. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring this guy to the front because we're going to copy. And we'll just bring this guy over. No, I forgot. I gotta create it first. And I should just be able to send that guy backwards, but it's not working. And I know there's, I think I said this already, but <laughs> there's other, there's other uh, ways to do this, but this is what I'm, this is what I know. So this is what I use. Um, okay, so that is, um, oh, I don't know why I did that. I just gave away. We'll just move that to the side because it hasn't happened yet. Uh, let's get back to our... So that's just an ambush patrol. It says so right here. 836 putting another AP at 793-108. And then next we've got 74 Recon has one known MVA KIA NCO type including rucksack and weapon. So uh, Recon at that engagement spot that we marked, they must have moved there. So we'll put a little movement in there, arrow in there. Has one known at North Vietnamese Army killed in action, NCO, non-commissioned officer. So there's something about this body that makes them think it's an NCO. Maybe it's actually, maybe, maybe there's actually rank on the uniform. Maybe it's something they're carrying. Maybe their weapon is a certain style. Who knows? Maybe it's the contents of the rucksack, but we haven't even really got into that yet. So uh, let's put in the directional arrow. Um, and I and then that comment and then we'll go to the next page so we're at the end of the first page and so you can see this declassified uh, sticker it's a, just a piece of paper that when you're at the National Archives you have to stick on every scan you make because that is the declassification code for this document all these documents were classified for a long time and then declassified um, and so that's just a uh, like I said, that's one of the rules they have. You got to put that on every page. So, all right, let's get back to our PowerPoint and do two things. First thing is we're going to insert a shape and we're going to just put an arrow in here going this way because we know that Recon had to move up to their engagement area to recover that body. So make it a little bit bigger. Probably this big, yeah. 
and we don't really like uh, I'll just put that down there for now because I don't like I don't like my elements to overlap each other so we can just do actually we'll just do this we'll just do alt tab or I'm sorry alt return or just return I guess we'll shrink this and then we're gonna change our change our formatting to this is flat to to justified to stick it in there okay so that's it for the first page next page is when things start to go south uh, starts out there's uh, you know sometimes if you have multiple pages the hour will say zero zero one and then and then it'll end at whatever the last hour noted in the first page is and then the second page will so sometimes they're like that or they'll actually be page numbers there's not on this one see so it says page number number of pages it'll actually say page number five of nine uh, but you know or one of two this would be two of two but they didn't put it in there all right eight three six five three element here's noise to the front at seven nine three one zero eight. Um, so seven nine three one zero eight, and then it said uh, it got an AK forty seven and bananas, not bananas, not the fruit, but banana clips. Like that is the, the standard magazine that goes into an AK forty seven uh, rifle is a banana clip they call it, and so they must have found four of them with that AK forty seven. And so they hear noise. Again, let's go back because I forgot that grid. Seven nine three one zero eight. That's their grid to the to their front, whichever way they happen to be facing. I don't know. Um, and and I'll scroll down because to we got multiple things happening here, all in between twelve o five and twelve ten, and you can kind of get the idea that it's a busy place in the battalion. Um, talk the tactile operations center where this log is being actually typed or written uh multiple elements doing multiple things and, and you got to try and figure out what to write and what to leave out there was definitely stuff left out this one for sure there's so at 1205 and 1210 um these two go together i believe but i the more I look at it, the more I think there's an error. And I think, let's go over line number 19 first. At 1210-83653, that's their third platoon element, ran into enemy digging in, have one serious WIA, dust off being called in, one serious wounded in action, dust off being called in. Dust off is the um, medical evacuation helicopters, dust off, they were medevac units specifically, that was what their mission was. Uh, it when dust off is mentioned in a log it it could mean that it was actually a dust off like dedicated dust off helicopter it could mean that it was whatever Huey was around and was acting in that dust off capacity but usually when they say dust off it they're calling for the med medevac um so that's happening and we're assuming it's at that grid 793108 because that's what's referenced. But then you also have 74 reporting in that in the rucksack, remember they found one MVA body, NCO type. They found a, uh, four sets of khakis, four grenades, American type cigarettes, LERP rations, and a machete. LERP rations, long range reconnaissance patrol. Those are just like dehydrated rations that are lightweight. Um, so they've they found a body and a rucksack and they've got they're reporting up what the contents are because they may or may not bring all this stuff in they may destroy some of it out there uh, so it's unusable they may leave some of it out there what whatever um so we need to let's just hold off before we map anything else or annotate anything we'll just get a little further all right, so we got some bad news here. 836 sub-element has two friendly KIA at 793106. 
So this is, uh, you know, Robert in his question to me talked about taking some casualties on Christmas Eve. This is where it occurred. 793-106. So let's l get this thing plotted and we'll put in some comments about the rucksack and the dust off. And then I want to remember what I said here. It says 5-3 got one AK-47 and four bananas. But right up here, the last thing that we read about is that 5-2 element is in contact and found an MV, a KI MVA 1 AK-47 found some clips with rounds. So I don't know, but possibly this 5-3 should have been 5-2. Maybe. Because it, it's coming before the contact, maybe. Like, there's just a lot of questions there. So we'll just leave it out. But let's get into the uh, this grid, 793-106. Um, and so 793-106. That's probably right. And we're going to move this here. And I think that this is where the contact actually occurred. Um, it's there. 793106. Um, all right, so let's just let's bring this up here and we're gonna say recon finds one and or recon. We'll just do recon. One MVA KIA. Ruck and AK. For now, we're not trying to list everything out here. We'll just put that right there. Recon 1 MVA. So now here, let's get this over here. This is 83653 to USKIA. We'll just leave that right like that, unfortunately. This is what happened. This is the history of what happened that day. So let's get a little further into this. Cider 10 on station. And so Cider, I think I mentioned it earlier, Cider is the forward air controller. And I did look it up. Cider was the call sign of the U.S. Army forward air controllers that flew 01 bird dogs. That's these little Cessnas. Um, and they were assigned to the 4th Infantry Division. And and they basically, each brigade had groups of cider elements that would, that would work for the brigade. Um, and so Cider 10, I think we saw 12 and 15 also. Lit. So they just have cycled on and off, uh, being ready to, to help call in airstrikes. Um, so 836 sub element to reinforce 53 element so when we go back to the map we'll look at that basically 836 which is Charlie company they're sending a smaller unit uh, or a sub element out of their company perimeter to go reinforce 3rd platoon okay so now we have a total enemy KIA 5 2 AK-47s and 1 Ruck and it doesn't say it did say un. It said it said unrecovered. Five. Let's just put all this in here. Five NVA KIA, two AKs, one rock. Let us do that. Okay, so that's at this engagement spot. Charlie Company, third platoon. not recovered so whatever happened happened quick probably the point man and the slack man which is the person right behind and whatever the engagement was it was so severe so fast so bad that the rest of that element did not have a chance to recover those two bodies maybe everybody else was wounded and they they pulled back 
Now we'll see kind of how this progresses. Okay, Shrimp Boat 50 spotted 5 MVA at 886140. Um, Shrimp Boat 50 is a CH-47 Chinook helicopter. That's those those big ones with uh, front rotor and back rotor and a twin rotor. Not a, not, not a tail rotor, but actually two horizontal rotors. Um, big Chinook, uh, you know, still use them today. Uh, Shrimp Boat was a, the call sign for one of those squadrons, and I can't remember what the number designator is. Um, but they spotted some NVA at 886140, and this must be like the fringes. And this must be the fringes of the battalion's um, AO because it's it's kind of far away. So we'll look at it on the the map. It's not even on our um, it's not even on our uh, uh, the PowerPoint snippet that I took. This is way far to the northeast. Eight eight six one four zero. And so we're if you look at this, you got this dark line here. That's eight zero. So you got one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and my head is in the way. Hold on. Let's get my head out of the way. Uh, eight, eight, oh yeah, where were we? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 886140, that's right here, this little knoll. That's pretty far away from from where the battalion is operating, but uh, this shrimp boat element called it in. Uh, you know, that, that's a day's a day's march. It's 20 kilometers, probably 15 kilometers. It, it'd, be, it'd take them hours to get, get there uh, if they were moving, and, and I'm sure they're not. They're, it's these NVA probably doing something else. And there's probably another American unit a lot closer to, to deal with them if they decide to, to deal with them. Um, so, back to the log. Uh, 836 is moving into point of contact. Um, and then at 1505, 836 recovered one body, 53 element leader. So, 53, third platoon element leader, that would be the platoon leader. So, the third platoon leader was KIA, killed in action. Uh, one missing is still KIA, or one of the KIAs is still missing. Um, and so that has occurred. So point man, probably not the platoon leader as the point man, but uh, whatever it is, they walked into an ambush. They probably both go down. And I'm again, I'm assuming I'll talk to Robert, or maybe there's somebody else from Charlie Company who was there uh, to know how it went down. But it Feels like most likely this was a, they walked into an ambush. Two of them went down. The rest backed off because they couldn't recover their bodies at that moment. And by the time they got back there, there's only one body. A lot of mystery there. I don't know. Well, look, I'll tell you the names of these two uh, men uh, when we're done with our this log, which is real quick now. Uh, okay, so at 1515, Lerp. Uh, LB extracted at 1500, so Alerp, Long Range Reconnaissance Patrol, those were brigade level assets or division assets, and basically we don't, we don't know where they got extracted from, but anytime they were in a battalion's area of operation, they would coordinate to make sure that we knew where they were, they knew you know where their support was, etc. Um, so that's why they're in the log. Alright, so now we have kind of the end of the day. We'll, we'll just I'll go through these last ones uh, in a hurry, and then we'll plot these last uh, grids. So A36 is in a night location, same, and then they list this grid 782109. That's not the same. That's not Hill 943. That's just uh, some a few meters away, a few about 100 meters away from the first place that we saw third platoon on the map, and we'll look at that. I think what this is saying is that third platoon sorry charlie company is in their same night location on hill 943 and i think that there used to be an ap or for some reason it, it didn't type there's an ambush patrol set at 782109 so we'll set that night locations are sent to brigade they send they list some of the night locations but not the night locations of the actual 
main elements, but this is saying that that the battalion staff is sending that information to brigade because the brigade wants to know where all the elements in the field are all the time, uh, be, you know, to cut down on friendly fire, uh, and 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 you know they need they just need to know that's what the brigade wants to know. So 1645, that's at 445. Charlie Company reports in a status of 113-4, attached 1-1. So 113 enlisted men and four officers. Attached, one enlisted, one officer. So this attached is most likely the Ford Observer, Artillery Ford Observer, and his radio operator. Um, the Every company, or mo most of the time, each company would have an Artillery Ford Observer from Bravo Company 629 Field Artillery, which was the direct support uh, battery. Uh, in this case, I know exactly who this one officer was. His name is Joe Knowlton. I've talked to him before. He remembers this incident from his perspective. I mean, he wasn't on that uh, patrol that was ambushed, but he was there with the company. So I, I don't know, I, I, you know, of those dots, I'm not sure where exactly he was. I, he Usually he'd be located with the company commander. Um, but anyway, so this is their status, 113-4. 7-4, which is recon, their status is 23 enlisted men. Usually they'd have a platoon leader, an officer. In this case, it seems like they didn't. Maybe the officer was, you know, they're in between officers, and so a senior NCO was in charge. Then uh, Alpha Company reports in two different ambush patrol locations and a status of 111 um, enlisted men and four officers. Charlie Company reports in two... APs, which doesn't jive with if this is an AP. So we'll have to look at those three on the map and try and make some sense of it. And then Bravo Company, which remember is co-located with the Battalion Command and the Firebase, they send out two APs. And then we've got a bunch of hours that sit right negatives. And it's signed by Major Carl W. Steiner, who is the S3 Operations Officer, and his signature is Carl Steiner, uh, continued on in his army career, retired as a general, I think a major general, um, and he is he passed away, and is buried in Arlington. Uh, I'm sure we could write a book about him, um, but he at one point was the operation officer, so this was his job. So let's plot these. Um, let's let's plot these real quick. So let me just snip out what I want to snip out, which is we're gonna do. Like this much. And then we're going to get back to PowerPoint. Okay. So the first grid that we had was 782109. So remember, this is... seven eight two one oh nine. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a bad grid. Because that's here. 782109. Because this would be 792. 782109. I don't know why they would put that grid in there. It could be an ambush patrol, but that seems like a for an, a unit that just made contact here, seems odd to be having an AP way out there. So I'm not sure what that grid is. It's either an error, and it should have said 792109, or it's in reference to something that I don't know what. Okay, we'll just forget it. Uh, all right, so we've got 816 for Alpha Company. Remember, they had three APs out the night before, and they probably have moved. So the first one is at 801087. 8 O one O eight seven. Probably right there. And then the next one is at seven nine five oh seven nine. So seven nine five right in the middle. And then O seven nine right up here at the top. And then there's no third one. So this third one collapsed in on to the company CP, so they're Sticking with just two APs tonight. So this is Christmas Eve. So for six to ten guys, they got to spend Christmas Eve out on an ambush patrol all by their lonesome. All right, 
let's get over here to Bravo Company, and we haven't made a Bravo, but I usually use white, because remember red, white, and blue, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie. Um, wrong one, let's fill this with white, and then just grab it, and the first one is 821074, 81821. 074. So that's like right. Here like right here. Alright. And the next one is at 817080. That's over here. 817. So remember, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And write on zero 08. Okay, and then last but not least, we have Charlie Company. They've got an AP at 799108. We'll just create new ones. 799108. And the next one is at 802108. 802108. So interesting. Recon finds a trail. I mean, this shows some some collaboration between the units. Recon finds a trail leading directly towards Hill 943. So Charlie Company sets out an AP and probably like a smaller AP and then maybe a larger element as support on the same trail system. Maybe. Again, i got to make some assumptions here. Okay, so that is our uh, Christmas Eve 1967. And let's just, because we're in here, and we can just, just to remember, this is Battalion, FSB, BCO, and B Battery, 629FA. So they're all there. And then we'll do this for APs. That's centered. Another one there, another one here, another one here, those two are there, and here we have a co CP. So when the guys want to know where was I on Christmas Eve 1967, this is where they were at the end of the day. Now, Delta Company is not referenced at all in this log. They come into play the next day. I don't know where they were. I think they were close, but I, I got nothing. I can't, I can't put them down as anywhere. So uh, before we stop, before I stop this, I'm going to just open up a file um because I want to show you the names of the two men that were killed from Charlie Company. I think it's important every time we I know I go through these logs and I see that that we suffered casualties uh it's important to go back. And so this is a document that I've created that has let me zoom in just a little bit Oops. has the names of all of the casualties that the third of the twelfth suffered while they were there um, from 1967 to 1970, or 66 to 70. Um, and so we're going to go back, uh, since I know some of these names, um, 
and we so we would go to this column here and go 1224 so on 1224 there were two casualties and they were um, second lieutenant William Douglas Dixon let me zoom, let's zoom in some more so you can see what I'm looking at okay William Douglas Dixon uh, was the second lieutenant in the Army Reserve and I'm gonna move my head again He was born on July 31st of 1942. He was 25 years old. He was from Oxnard, California. Um, he arrived in country September 6th of 1967. He had been in Vietnam for 109 days. So he had been probably with Charlie Company for 95 of those days because it takes maybe more than that, maybe 100 of those days. It probably takes a little while for, for a new officer to get assigned to their unit. Um, and he was killed on 12-24-67. Um, and he is buried in Conejo Mountain Memorial Park in Camarillo, California. Um, and I don't know what else I have in here. Purple Heart. He's on panel 32 Echo, line 54 of the Vietnam Veterans Memorial in Washington, D.C. Vernie Homer Powers is the PFC Vernie Powers is the Charlie Company soldier who was killed on Christmas Eve and whose body was not recovered. And he was a E3 PFC born uh, March 12th of 1947. He was 20 years old. He was from Baltimore, Maryland. He arrived in country on August 27th, 1967. He had been in country for 119 days. So he really had only been in country for just a little bit longer than his lieutenant. And likely they, because of that fact, or, or not, I would say because of that fact, they probably had some camaraderie because they had arrived in country at the same time. Even though one was a lieutenant, one was, an, one was a PFC, um, things like starting your tour at the same time was a common, it was a common bond. And so, you know, they had been with each other the entire time. His body was not recovered and has still not been recovered. He has an in, more, in memorial of headstone at Oak Lawn Cemetery in Baltimore, Maryland. Um, and he is on the same panel as his lieutenant although he is one line below. That's just because the the names uh, killed on the same day. Dixon obviously starts with a D, so when they put the wall together, Ds, the, the, the casualties suffered on the same day are in alphabetical order for the most part. There's, it's, it's not a perfect science because longer names would get moved, etc. Um, but sometimes, so, so he's on the line below because he's a P for powers. And I visited his grave um, in October of 2021. Um, I actually had traveled to Maryland to attend the funeral of a army buddy of my own um, who we served in Iraq together. We actually served many places together. He passed away of a heart attack unexpectedly and he was living in Maryland. And so we drove there for his funeral and my a good friend of mine um, that uh, served with both me and the man who passed away, Nick Streaker. Um, he and I and my family all went and we found um, Vernie's headstone and visited it and left a flag and a penny. Uh, and so we remember Vernie, even though his body has never been recovered. Um, and I don't know if there's... Um, I don't know if there's efforts to, you know, to to do a recovery mission in that area. Uh, I think there's trouble finding his family members, and they they kind of need family members to 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 kind of push some of these recoveries along. Um, you know, and I did read 
both of their names at the 40th anniversary of the reading of the names at the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Wall. Uh, I read that on November 8th at 7 p.m. Um, yeah, so that's it. So, Robert, where were you on Christmas Eve, 1967? Depending on what unit, or depending on what platoon you were in, you were on Hill 943. Um, and just, again, let's just look for for reference. We're going to bring this over here. And then I'll close out the video. Where is Hill 943? Well, it's in Vietnam. So let's scroll into Vietnam. Contum. So it's in Contum province. But it's up by Doc Tho. So let's zoom in a little more until we see Doc Tho. Here's Doc Tho. This spine-like ridge is the Hill 1338. It's the Chu um, Ngoc Kring ma uh, Massif or, or mountain complex. Um, and then this valley here is the valley where Hill 875 and Hill 943 are. And so let's get in here. And if you remember from the other map I showed you, this cleared spot here, this is where the battalion firebase was. And um, Hill 943 is roughly here. And so this is where Vernie Powers disappeared and probably, well, I, don't, I won't speculate on where he, where his body is. Um, but yeah, Hill 943. So again, keep your eye on that spot as we zoom out into the country. So right there, and you can see... What's a place that everybody knows? There's uh, Ho Chi Minh City or Saigon. Da Nang is up here. Contum, Pleiku. Down here, Ho Chi Minh City or Saigon. So, quite a ways away. So that's all I have. Uh, so this uh, video, of course, is in memory of Lieutenant Dixon <coughs> and uh, PFC Powers, who is still missing. Um, and I, I need to give a shout out to my very first uh, patron on my Patreon account, Jack Anderson. Jack, thank you very much for your support. Uh, I, you know, products like these is, is kind of what I like to do, and I like to be able to provide this information to veterans like Robert. Um, so when he asked, where was I Christmas Eve in 1967, that's where he was. Thanks, and Braves always first.